Alright, ladies and gentlemen, name is Richard Blackwood, JB Smooth, aka Jason Barrett, right here. This is for the culture. Um, and we've just been doing our thing and, and having amazing talent come through. So if you've just joined us, you're for the culture. That's all I'm saying. Right? <laughs> now, I just want to put that out there, a little disclaimer. <laughs> But Jay, I think it's only right that we introduce these two. Um... Only right. These phenoms, and I'm going to call them phenoms simply because. Well, what does that mean? You're using big words. Oh, yeah. sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's it's, it's, it's just mouth. shortened. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> yeah. It's shortened for phenomenal. Oh, and, and, okay. and, and the man them phenom. All right, okay, cool. I'll tell you that <laughs> word. <laughs> I was thinking, what? <laughs> so yeah, no, what have we done now? What have we done now? Phenom, is that But no, you know what it is? I'm a director myself. I know how difficult it is to do your own independent projects. It's difficult when you've got backing. When you're doing it on your own, it is an absolute massive undertaking. So these guys, they're, they're free films in, cinema releases. Mm -hmm. It is a massive achievement. Ladies and gentlemen, Femi Oyenrian and Nikki Slim Ting in the building. My brothers, my brothers, my brothers. My brothers. In the building, like in the building. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and let's just, just put it, my man's wearing rubies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my laughs> rubies. He's winning that. So wait, you know, everywhere I go, yeah, everyone's on to me. Like, no, no, it's a little you could, no, but the thing is, we're going to all start jumping <laughs> on the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Rubies on. Yeah, yeah anybody yeah. seen a ruby on? Yeah. You saw it here, Nikki <laughs> Slim Ting, you had it first. When you, make, when you make a sequel, you get a ruby, that's yeah. what I'm saying. <laughs> right. So guys, you've just come back from like a world tour, really. What's 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 Whoa, whoa, whoa. let's let's start. Let's take it from the top. All right, let's go back. Let's take it from the top. Yeah. So let's go. The intent one, mm, yeah. big. Yeah. Talk to us, give us a little bring in for the intent one before we move into the intent two. So um the intent one, me and Femi shot that about three years ago. Okay. No, uh, 2014. 2014, even right, longer. Four. Yeah, yeah. So four yeah. years ago. Um it was, a, it was a conversation that me and Femi had on one Christmas Eve, just being kind of fed up at the industry. We made this a lot. Um, it wasn't successful to the how we wanted it to be mm -hmm, successful. Mm -hmm. It was still successful. We made a movie, got a release, but it wasn't the impact we wanted to have on culture and stuff. We didn't really feel that we had the support and stuff. So we was kind of frustrated with ourselves and the industry. What did we do wrong? We sort of like just spoke about it and said, listen, we've got to come back. Like we need to do something that we feel that is going to impact culture. And we've been brought up on like the boys in the hood, yeah. the paid in fools, yeah. the juices, the menace to societies. Yeah. The, the, list, the list goes on, the poet justice. So it's like, you know what? Like, why don't we make a film like that? Why don't we make like a UK version of that? Because we don't have that here. Obviously, Femi's been in the kid out hoods. Yeah, and classic, the classic. And, and, and the adult hoods and stuff like that and another hood. But I feel like they're still different from those sort of films. Mm -hmm. I feel like mm -hmm. we haven't touched on that over here. Obviously, we've had some um, films before that, Rolling with the Nines and um, Bullet, Boy. Bullet Boy and stuff yeah. like that, that yeah. set the foundation. But there hasn't been anything in a long time. Understood. So we felt that, why don't we do something like that? And I think Top Boy just came out and was a right. phenomenal, like right. It, right. It, it smashed it. Like everybody was talking about Top Boy and was like, why don't we do something like Top Boy, Paid in Full, Menace to Society, but a movie, you know? And why don't we put some musicians in it? Because the music thing's really big in the UK, yeah. you know? We've had <clears> success <throat> with Wiley, Dizzy, um, so many other Lethal Bees and all these other people. So mm -hmm. we're just like, why don't we do a, like a music film like with music artists and actors in it together? Mm -hmm. And let's mm -hmm. do a street film. And he's like, yeah, man, let's do it. So we put our heads together, we wrote the film, and then we was like, you know what, we need to find money. So we was like, we're gonna go to our friends and invest in ourselves, you know? Okay, okay. So we reached out. So, so, so the living definition for me, the definition of the word friend is someone that you're willing to invest in and someone that's willing to invest in you. So it's yeah. interesting that you said that, that you went to your friends. I went to like people that I sort of looked up to older businessmen than me who mm -hmm. sort of mentor, not, not mentor me, but I have respect for, yeah. that like maybe are into property mm -hmm. and like do different other things outside of the entertainment world, but are doing well for themselves. Yeah. So I had to go and meet these people and convince them, listen, I want to make this film, back me, it can work and stuff like that. And to be fair to a lot of the investors, they sort of invested it in me and Femi, not so much the film. Yeah. They hadn't read the script. They didn't really know much about movies or anything like that, but they knew me and Femi were hard workers. Mm -hmm. So they felt trusted in us as, you know what, if these guys say they're going to do this, they're going to do it because yeah. a lot of people say they're going to do stuff, but don't really do it, do, do you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or run off with your money or yeah, yeah, yeah. spend your money wrong and stuff like that. So 
I have to give them a, a, a massive applause. So, so let, me, let me just bring Femi here on that point. So do you lot really feel, feel like, because a lot of the time, especially, I think that's a powerful message to our youth, that sometimes it's not actually your project or your product that people are investing in, but it's actually you. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I think you have to, like, it's how you carry yourself. Like, yeah. you know, no one can't <clears throat> tell me nothing about film. Like, yeah. no matter where you're from. Yeah. Like, UK film specifically. Like, you know, the business side of film. Like, you know, we, we like, me and Nikki, before we made our first film, were very fortunate in that. It was unfortunate at the time because it took us 18 months to get the money to make the film. But we're very fortunate because we went to every single distribution company's office and we learned every single <laughs> facet <laughs> of the yeah. film. Yeah. Like, literally, we learned about everything to do with film. film like down to like you know like you know the box office numbers of films like you yeah. could sit here and i could start telling you what what films did in their first week off the top of my head right so like we know the business mm. and this is what people don't realize about us it's like you know like you see like nikki's wearing the chain you see me like we're quite unassuming yeah and people think oh it's just like they're just lucky or like you know oh i could my script's better than theirs, or I'm sure it is. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure you but you're in the cinema. I'm sure you've got scripts. No, but like, there's all of these things that I'm sure you've got that's brilliant. But actually, outside of that, is that our business hustle, like, that, our, and our understanding of Second the business. Yeah. Mm. It's, and if you're going to go into any business, you're going to do anything. You have to learn the business. Stand and on. I find a lot of the time people understand the creativity element. I think that's like with young black youth, like people like us and um, people that are slightly younger, I think they're mad creative, but they've not studied how people that do it professionally do it. Mm. And that was what we were able to learn in that 18 month mm. period. It was like going from office to office. I remember we had this guy that was kind of mentoring us at the time. And he goes like, these men are gonna have you going from to West End buying Oyster cards for like mm. years and not give you the money. And me and him were so angry when that guy said that to us. Mm. And, and it was like, do you know what? It's been 18 months, you know? We still haven't, like, and eventually the deal went through. But like, you know, the frustration in that period, what it gave us was that we learned every single aspect of film. Yeah. And so when we're talking to people about film and trying to ask for investment, we're not doing it from a, a place of folly. We're not doing it from a place of see, not knowing. Do you, know, that, do you know how important that is? Because you know yeah. most people is, I've got the hottest mixtape on the roads, <laughs> but don't know the business. Yeah. Because of how you, to get even that if you don't out. know the business, you need to understand the business because even you're, you're going to delegate the business to someone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, i.e., you want to get signed to a record label. If you're going to delegate that business to that record label to manage the business side, you need to understand what they're doing. You mm. need to understand where the revenue is going to go. You need to understand. You know, you need to understand it, even if you're not going to do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of yeah, course, yeah, yeah. You have to understand what's being done for that you. Otherwise, yeah. you get bumped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, you know, that's like you said that. It's, 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 it's yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta understand. Yeah. How much does it cost to make this film? You know, how much does it cost to market this film? How much does it cost to be in a cinema? Mm. You know, you, to get your sound mix, to get to get your grade. To you know, there's so many. Yeah. And then even marketing, like how much does that cost? Like how much does publicity cost? All, all of these different elements, like you need to know, like even if you're not, because not everyone's business inclined, not everyone's yes, into numbers yes, yes. and you don't have to be, but you need to understand it or you need to find someone that could break it down. Like my, I studied law, my favourite, one of my favourite lecturers, like he would lecture on a subject and it felt so simple. Right, and then I'll try go home and I'll try to read it and not understand it. (laughs) But this guy will talk to me about it, and it just seems so basic. Find people that can do that for you. You guys are actors, you're directors. You understand the making of movies. You understand how to put a movie out. You are hiring people that are not actors Mm. by by trade. Yeah, how was that in terms of teaching them to be camera ready Mm. to 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 deliver a performance? Because we know these people. Um, you know, when you had Scorcher first, you had Getz, and these are all people that we know and love, right? Fecky, you had all these people. Um, but these guys are entertainers first. They're rappers, yeah, blah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. How did you get them actor ready? So for me, <clears throat> we put a lot of those characters in familiar situations that I feel that they could understand. Right, or understood. They're, or, or they've been through at a time in their place of life, Yeah. but now have progressed into better things. Mm-hmm. So for them, they can draw on those old experiences or they knew somebody who's gone through those experiences. Understood. So 
they're stars anyway. They're always on camera. They're always in music videos. Mm -hmm. Music video is a three minute short movie. Absolutely. You know, even if you're just performing in front of the camera, you're performing. Yeah, facts. When you go on stage in front of a concert, you're performing. They may be pissed off at, about something else. Just had yeah. an argument with their girl, yeah. but now have to go on stage and 100. perform to hundreds of thousands of people. For me, that's acting. Yeah. Like, you know, and if you can do that on a daily basis to a live audience, you should be able to transcend that onto camera, onto camera, you yeah, know, fact. and I just felt that, um, like Getz, he auditioned for the intent. We didn't give it to him. Oh, he, wow. okay. he okay. actually auditioned okay. like, oh, wow. against okay. 100 actors. Oh, brilliant. Went to a casting director, you know, went through the motions of a real actor. Like it wasn't like we just give you the roles. Yeah, like yeah, we yeah. try and make everybody audition yeah. or at least do a read through and speak to them about the characters and see if they're, because if you, if you look at the intent one, Crepton Conan got robbed. Yeah, I remember. In that and yeah. stuck up. Yeah, yeah, For yeah. their credibility as rappers, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. something a rapper wouldn't want to do. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. Would, like, so true. To get a rapper... And they were blowing up at that time. Masses. They were just... Yeah, 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 they were going like, they had yeah. don't waste my time. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So to get yeah, these yeah. guys now to go on screen and maybe look a bit weak... Yes, yes, to the, yes. ...to what people think rappers are meant to be, mm -hmm. you know, that's a massive step for them. Yeah. You know, yeah. and that's acting. Mm. That's showing the maturity... forget that, actually, That's yeah. showing the maturity of them as human beings, you know? Because mm. I could have said to a lot of rappers, you know what, you're going to get robbed, you're going to They'd be like, no way! <laughs> yeah. But that's going against what they everything represent. they, they yeah. represent, Definitely. you know? Definitely. So, you know, that shows you the ability of acting. And it's interesting that you say that gets auditioned because I, a lot of people know that, which is great for gets. Um, so, but when you guys was writing um, Intent 1 and then Intent 2, did you write it knowing that you wanted to have rappers within it? Yeah, yeah. so okay. the idea was when, when we spoke up on that Christmas, Christmas 2013, the idea was actually, no, no, because <laughs> I always think about that Christmas. When we were like Rain Man, but, Christmas no, no, 2013. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, the idea was that, you know, when we made it to lot, Mm. We we basically broke down why it didn't work. Okay. Right? okay. Like and and that was hard for us. Like for ages, me and him were like we were going through deep depression. Like you you can look back and say that now. At the time, you wouldn't call it that because yeah. like you're just like yeah, because no, black people don't get depression bad. apparently. But at the time, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, 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 I would yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 I would argue that at the time, me and Nicky were depressed, but yeah, we yeah. just didn't have the language for it. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And so and so we were going through like why didn't this thing work? Like, mm. And you go through that yourselves because you're the creators of it. Yeah, mm. you don't. Mm. The actors have moved on to yeah. other work. Yeah. Like you know that. So you're left behind and you're going through it and then me and Nikki were like well on one level like we didn't have enough stars mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in the film we didn't have stars mm -hmm. like you know I remember like you know we did um we did um another hood yeah, yeah? and you were there we were all on set I looked yeah, around there was loads of stars in that film and then but at the same time where they couldn't get Adam Deacon to do interviews they got you yeah, yeah. And they got they got um Jocelyn. Jocelyn, that's right. right. That's right. To do press. Yeah. Right. We did this morning actually. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But Adam Deacon couldn't go on this morning. Yes. Right. But you could. That's so true, you know. Right. And so what breaking all of this down and was like, you know what, we don't actually have stars in that movie. Mm. And that's why it didn't work because all the people that were in it, they were either too new mm -hmm. or not big enough to elevate it yeah, to that next yeah, level. Yeah, yeah. And so we were like, you know, who has got who has got a following even within our scene? Mm -hmm. We were like, well, and then we looked at those American films like Juice, In Too Deep, Belly, Paid in Full. Like, I could keep going. Like, you know? <laughs> like DMX yeah, 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 yeah. everybody. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I could, no, I'm going to fuck with you, Rain Man. And, <laughs> and then at, at that moment, we were like, oh, do you know what? We The rappers have got their stars. Mm -hmm. yeah. The That's... closest thing we have on our budget at that time to getting stars to be in, in our film were these rappers that we had access to that weren't even doing it for money. They were doing it because Nikki had a relationship with them mostly, mm -hmm. most of them, to be honest. Okay. For me, because Nikki's obviously got a music music background. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so they were doing it for that reason. And we were able to like, you know, get them in to either audition, meet us, discuss the characters, and so on and so forth, because they were our stars and the scene was changing. Now it's accepted that all these music stars are household names. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Facts. Mm -hmm. 2013, 2014, it was 50 50. Mm -hmm. So, do you know, it was a piece of foresight by me and Nikki to actually realise actually the, tr the, the trend is shifting. Yeah, definitely. These kids definitely. are now becoming definitely. mega stars. Definitely. Yeah. And another thing that we noticed or me and Femi discussed is that with actors, they just look at it as a job. Yeah. So a lot of, like, no disrespect to actors in the UK, we don't have many 
superstar actors mm -hmm. like That's who true. are box office superstars mm -hmm. like in not America, people of color anyway. yeah. of people of color so the thing is like an actor will come they'll do their job they'll get paid they'll leave and then move on to the next film yeah they don't have no emotional attachment to the film to, the project, it's, to yeah. them it's just a job yeah i'm yeah. an actor they don't really tweet about it they don't really instagram about it a lot of actors didn't even have Twitters or Instagram like that. For them, they were very low key. Mm -hmm. Like, there's loads of successful actors who are in casual EastEnders, The Bill. They're in this movie. They're in that movie. But it's just a job. Yeah. They yeah. just do their job. They get paid. They go home to their families. They're not really trying to be superstars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like they're just actors. Mm -hmm. And we felt that in America, people want to be superstars. Stars, Everyone's definitely. stars. Like everyone. Like the way they walk, they talk, they dress. Everything's a lifestyle and we wanted the intent, like me and Femi, Femi always says this as well, and it, the intent's like a mixtape. Mm -hmm. It's like the best mixtape on the streets. Yeah. It's full of features and stars. Yeah, and everyone yeah. in it wants to be a star and is a star in their own right. So if we've got Richard in it, Richard brings his element, he's yeah. a star. Mm -hmm. We brought Jason in it, he's his own star. You put mm -hmm. Nikki, John Stan, you put School. Everyone in there feels like they're bosses and everyone yeah. brings their own fan base. They're dynamic. They're yeah, dynamic. Yeah, yeah. Quite a few people in the intent could lead the film for me yeah one of the major finds in the intent one was scorcher of yeah course. scorcher carried that movie yeah, as good. the lead ah he, he was an actor yeah, you know yeah, what one's day yeah, he, yeah, he was yeah. really good so then so congrats on that but then obviously you haven't got him for the part yeah. two because yeah. of whatever yeah. losing scorcher was like for part two was a was was a massive blow to us you know that's even why probably the film's a prequel because it's right. like it's not a follow on because right, it's like right. Scorch is not here. How do we? Yes. And yeah, also, yeah. you don't want to move forward the story without Scorch. Without Scorch. Yeah. yeah <laughs> One hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. It would yeah, the, yeah. the, the audience wouldn't go with it. Yeah. 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 So it's like you know what? Let's go back. Yeah. Let's introduce some new people. Yeah. And let time settle, and he'll be back. Do you understand? Yeah, to yeah, do yeah. what he has to do. Yeah. But um, I always knew Scorch was amazing. I uh, the reason why I always wanted to work with Scorch was I watched a music video of him, Bashi, and Rex Three Two do a video called Ransom. I don't know if you've seen it. I remember it. it. Mm. You remember it? Bad. Yeah, hard. And bad. the video is hard. Bad. 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 You bad. know they kidnap Bashi. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and he's on the phone. Yeah, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. You want your yeah, friend yeah, back? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, Bring the paper. This yeah, yeah, yeah. Movie. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. For me, I was like, that's my boys in the hood. That's my. That's, that was Top Boy before Top Boy. Yeah, do you understand? Yeah, yeah. Like, mm. They were doing it, mm. but without even knowing they're creating history. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. no, we have to do a movie with him. And then for me and him, we were speaking. I've known Scorcher because I'm from the music from background music. and mm. radio and pirate radio. And so we always had a friendship. And I was like, no, I want to do a movie with you. I want to do a movie with you. And we just kept that relationship. And we tried to make another movie called Money and Grime. I wanted to make a grime movie. Okay. And that failed through finance. I've, I've gone through so much. Like, people see us here now. And it was like, oh, you made it, you're on buses. <laughs> yeah. If they know the journey, the, journey. the heartbreak, <laughs> the stress, the having no money in your pocket. I've got like, a line from Drake yeah. and he says, giving me props is fine, but don't try to get a start at the finish line. They, trust me, right? Do you know what I mean? And people always want to get a start at the finish yeah, line. Yeah, like, it's like they don't, the, the you know, start line, they don't realise how far know, back that was. You know, mm -hmm. they don't know. that like, I was, you was going to be in Money and Grab. Yeah, I was going to play it in, in the yeah, prison yeah, scene. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. people don't know, like, okay. I had a film, it collapsed, finance all collapsed. I've lost loads of money, I've been invested there, money, been there, been I'm there. heartbroken. <laughs> Everyone's looking at you like you're a dickhead. Mm. Everyone thinks you're chatting <laughs> shit. No, but it's the truth. Like, you people know, chatting shit. Yeah, yeah. Where's that chatting, film you yeah, said? Yeah, yeah, people think you're chatting shit. People don't believe in you no more. People are disappointed in you, but they don't understand. It's disappointing to you as well. Like, do you understand? They don't know the heart. So, how did the film. T Obviously, Femi, we know. We know Femi from the Hood films. Yeah. Kid Hood. So, you're, you're a child actor. You've grown up in the, in the craft. Teen, teen, teen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> teen actor. <laughs> teen actor. Child actor has a weird thing as well. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, you're right. You're yeah, right. You're yeah, right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. But, but yourself. You're, you're coming from, like you said, pirate radio. Yeah, you're coming yeah, from. Yeah. How did the the whole getting into film come about? For me, it was like I was in pirate radio. I was DJing. I was doing promotions and stuff like that. As you know, that them things have a time limit, you know. Yeah. And as music progressed, it became more about the artist and less less more about the DJ. Then I'm doing big parties, eyeing up a here and there. And that 
it looks good, it's ram, thousands of people. The time I walk home, I walked home with five bills, a thousand pounds. Mm -hmm. Don't really add up, you know? <laughs> I'm just being real, like, the numbers don't add up, you know? I've worked PC, non-PC, yeah, this is the relationship. Like, you know what I'm like, I've, it doesn't, it don't make sense for me, just you know like, it looks good, yeah, yeah, but my yeah. pocket's not yeah. the same as what. still dry. Yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. I'm thinking like, but I had a dance, and it was ram, and yeah. I paid bare people, but I've gone home and I've sort of suffered. I'm, yeah. I'm making money, you know. Yeah. But, beef. but not to the, what I want to make, you know. Yeah. So for me, I got a job at Jetstar Records in oh God, House I, Star. Jetstar. I was at A&R there. Okay. And I, I started an urban label there and I started signing Funky Ass Records mm -hmm. and put out some Funky Ass Records. Funky Ass was doing big and stuff like that. And then um, Boy Better Know, Wilding, all these guys were pressing up their CDs there because the mixtape time was really popping off. Mm -hmm. And then I, a friend of mine's Justin, um, I was telling Mr. Palmer, if everybody knows, he's the guy on Jetstar, he's yeah, an yeah. old man. Wheeze, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, like Mr. Palmer was yeah. down in Hulls. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I remember yeah. it, man. Yeah, so I was like, let's make a film. Every time, anywhere I go and I see people with money, I'm trying to convince <laughs> them, let's make a film. He's like, film, make a DVD or something. I'm like, no, I want to make a film. <laughs> like, let's make a film. And like, he's, he sort of had me on a, he was like, yeah, but wasn't really saying yeah. So I met Justin and Justin's like, oh, my friend, Femi, he's like, he's in kid hood and stuff like that. Maybe you should speak to him. Right. Femi came down. Right. He introduced me to him. And from there, like, we hit off. Like, I was like, listen, I got this film, um, Money and Grime. I got this other film. It's a lot. Like, I want to make these films, blah, blah. He's like, yeah, cool. We met up in Shoreditch, innit? Yeah, we kept met with like, so what happened was I, I remember meeting him, I was like, oh my gosh, bro, you're Nicky Slim thing from Pirate <laughs> Radio. Because I would obviously, like, I grew up on Pirate Radio, mm, yeah. like, and, and this was like probably three, four, five years after, like, you know, like, I was really listening to like Deja Vu and that like, heavy, or like, when I was a kid. And then um, we, we were meeting, and I, it's weird because at the time he was like, oh, let's make money and grime. And I was like, oh, do you know what? Why don't we make this a lot first? Because it's, completely different to like Kid Hood and those films. Like, let's just do something different. And then we stopped talking. Like, he like, I don't know what happened. He changed his number, he blocked me. <laughs> no, I didn't block really. like, him. Something's so coming up right now. Like, I don't, he blocks me. No, 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 I, I don't actually know what happened. I just looked, you know it's right there. You know what it is? You know <laughs> what it is? <laughs> no, no, let's, you we know might as well have this out now. <laughs> do, you know, do you know what it was? I on, really me. wanted to make a grime movie. I was passionate. So vexed. I was I was probably upset, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. I, there <laughs> were both <laughs> ideas that I wanted to make. Yeah. But I just felt like we needed to show what the culture was doing you know at that happened? time. Mm -hmm. Like, let's do a comedy. I was in, I was in my Yeah, field. I'm going to hold it back at you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like so, way so right for now me, I just felt like, you know what? Maybe it was another disappointment <laughs> blow because I had... Heard so many no's. Yeah, yeah. Remember yeah, yeah. you heard this? No, probably. Like, you remember, you heard, <laughs> you heard so many no's. So I probably just felt, I can't remember it's such a long time. I probably felt away, probably, mm. but just thought, oh, I'm going to crack on. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, you know, that's what I do in life. I just, when blows come to me, I jump over it, I crack on. Like, yeah, I'm, yeah. That, that's how I live my life, you know, I just get through it. So for me, I was probably thinking of another way how to make this film. And then another hood happened. Yeah. And then you guys was on set on another hood and I just saw another hood everywhere. There's this bus and inside of me, I'm like, I need to make a film that, like, <laughs> you know, because yeah, I'm seeing yeah, these yeah. great things coming and God works well, you know, he answers your prayers mm -hmm. from the day really when you pray for it, if you mm -hmm. believe that, you know, but mm -hmm. it may not seem right then at yeah, that spot, yeah, yeah. he's answered it. Yeah. So for me, Femi hit me up on Facebook and he was like, oh, Nikki, what's going on? I'm on another hood set. That script you sent me, that idea, we should make it. And I'm like, what? Like, in my mind, I'm buzzing because I'm seeing that, ooh, what they're doing and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We met up and then that's the history. Like, from there, we've just been brothers, you know. The yeah. journey together hasn't stopped, you know. Like, he inspires me every day, teaches me stuff. I teach him stuff, you know. Like, we're like yin and yang because I think it works, you know. Yeah, because definitely. If you've got it, that balance. Yeah, if you've got that balance, the definitely. balance is there, definitely. do you understand? And it's like, he, the thing is what I always say to everybody, like, we will outwork you. You may think my script is dead. You may think you can do better than me. <laughs> you may think... I'll outwork you. Yeah, yeah, I, like, yeah. I wake up, I'm on it. Two o'clock in the morning, I'm still on it. Because for me, like, I've got one life and I want to have a good life. Mm. So I'm mm. going to throw everything at it, mm. you know? And the thing is, you've got to learn to just, this game is not a joke. You've got to be on it 100%. And I'll outrun man. you. Stay I will, busy. You've got to stay busy, man. Cool. And you're going to hear so many no's. The amount of no's we heard, we heard, yeah. you know? Like, the intent, every distributor told us no. Every single, in ten one, yeah, yeah. Every ten, everyone <coughs> said no. I think one distributor said yes. Two, two, two. Two said yes, and wanted to give us like probably ten grand yeah, for yeah, a film yeah, that cost. Yeah. Two, two said yes. One of them offered us twenty grand. The other one went out of business a month after saying yes. Oh. 
You know? And I knew uh, the one that was going to go out of business. When they were offering us, they were going out of... Like, it was in the it was trade really press. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was yeah, in the yeah, trade yeah. press that they were struggling. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? We can't give our film to someone that's struggling. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. that was when we came up with the idea to do it independently. It was like, the funny thing is, it's like history repeats itself. As I said that, I was thinking about Jay-Z. And like, you yeah. know, you couldn't <laughs> and they had their first album and they were shopping it around. Yeah. And, then, and then you hear Jay-Z say it again and again, that was when we decided to do it independently. Yeah, and like, Rockefeller. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then yeah, yeah, before yeah. you know it. So how do you respond to the naysayers now? Because a lot of what's going, oh, these films, they're violent. These yeah. films are not good for the culture. These films yeah. are, and they're one dimension. Wow, not yeah. another gangster film. There's a lot of that. How do you guys respond to that? One, there's not hardly any British gangster films. With black people. With black people. We're comparing, That's very true. We're comparing to America. That's very true. Yeah, so let's no. not... Let's, <laughs> let's, rolling with the nines no, and, then, right. and then what was and there? And Dead Man Running. Dead Man Running. There's yeah, two, it's true. You know, they're the foundation. They're the blueprint. Was in that one? Yeah. yeah. They're, they're mm -hmm. the blueprint. Since then, there's been nothing. So let's stop that argument. Mm. Yeah. Two, it's a black cast. When is the last time we had a UK? Let's not compare to Black Panther. We're not Disney. <laughs> right? Let's stop all of this. Yeah? We haven't had Disney money. We haven't got Disney back in. This is a British independent black film. I love it, There's loads of black people in it. Yeah. yeah? You know? It's two black directors. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And at the same time, people say that. They only say it because it's young black men on the screen. When you watch James Bond running around Leicester Square, jumping around Bond Street, if you watch the Sweeney, if you watch yeah. the Craze, the Football Factory films, there's loads of hooligan films. Mm -hmm. There's loads of Essex Boys, Essex Boys 1, Essex Boys 2s. There's a whole genre of movies that have been successful. So why when we do something, it's penalised? Mm -hmm. Why are we limited to what we can show? Why anything to do with violence? Like, and, it's, and the intent is just not a violent film. There's a lot of violence in it, but there's a story, you know? It's an undercover black police officer in our community. Mm -hmm. Something that black people avoid. Something yeah. that black people don't <clears throat> like to speak about. Mm -hmm. If anyone's a police officer and they're black, it means you're a snitch, you're this, you're that. There's loads of issues around mm -hmm. us stereotyping being a black police officer. Yeah, That's one so. thing. Femi's yeah. character turned to God. He became a Christian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me and Femi are Christian. I believe in God, you know? Mm. Um, me making a film is, is, is very conflicting when you believe in something and, and then people are coming at you saying, what, what are you showing? What are you promoting? You know, like yeah. you've been in EastEnders. There's a murder in EastEnders every Christmas. <laughs>
No one went and watched this a lot, really. Mm -hmm. But when we did the intent, everyone went and watched it. So mm -hmm. clearly, this is what you want. And I go to the <laughs> cinema. I go to the cinema. I go to the cinema. <laughs> no, I love that. And yeah, this a, is what you want. There's a majority black audience. Like, do you get what I'm saying? And it's like the same people, the same woke people mm -hmm. that want to tell. But the thing is, people are complex. And like, we need to start yeah. admitting to ourselves that fact. we don't want to see one type of representation. I think the problem is there needs to be a diversity of representation of black people. Mm -hmm. So far, we've done that in a lot of our projects. If you think about it, yeah, I, was, I was involved in Venus versus Mars. I was involved in, which was about a girl trying to find love in London that was yep. in Sky Living. Yep. I, was, I was involved in it a lot. I was involved, even the intent has got a whole character thread where the guy's trying to find God because mm. he did road. Mm. Yeah. No film's ever done that. Mm. No gangster films, ever, not from the UK at least, mm -hmm. yeah, has ever said. attempted to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And so there's elements like it's like you're just zoning in on a certain element. I mean, you look at Michelle's character in the intent, like my, my friend Michelle, Michelle Greenwich. You look at her character, like the mum character, like when Scorcher comes, his character comes and tries to give his mum money, and she's like, no, what is this? Mm. But people just zone in on like, yes. oh, do you know what? You have actually you have black boys with guns. Like it's like black boys are not allowed to have guns on screens. Mm -hmm. Black yeah. boys are never allowed to to we can't be action heroes. So when we're writing the intent too, we treated it like an action film. I said to Nikki, listen, we need to imagine like we're making takers or fast and furious. Mm -hmm. And like so when we're writing this, everything needs to be bigger. Like, so whatever we've done in the intent, mm. we need to... Nikki was like, you know what, I want a car chase. <laughs> I'm like, you know what, we can't afford a car chase. But like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I remember, you know what, we can't afford a car chase. But here's what we can do. Here's what we can do. We can, we can crash a car. Yeah. Like, you, the can, chase is not necessary, yeah, yeah, but we but can the crash, crash it. Yeah, yeah. We can do that. We do you the know, end part yeah, of the we chase. Can, we could do that bit. Who like, needs chase? And so, like, there's all these things. Like, we were going, we were going for it. We were like, you know what, I remember Nikki always said, you know what, like we have to shoot in Jamaica. Like, See, uh, well, you, you've you, gone to it because I was going to say, how to did the Jamaica, Jamaica thing? Because that's he's big. Like, he's like, that's we have big. to shoot in Jamaica. And I was like, you know what? Like, you know, that's a good idea. Mm. And the thing is about, I'll be honest, like, why me and Nikki work together? I have blind spots sometimes, like things that I don't think about. Like, because I, I will post something on Instagram or say something in an interview and I wouldn't even think anything of it. And Nikki was like, you can't say that, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm like, why? Because this, 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 this. And I'm like, oh, mm. let me take that down. Because you just, we all do. We yeah. all do as yeah. human beings. Facts, and yeah. I, I suppose the great thing about like me and Nikki working together, he sees things I don't see. And he was like, you know what? Why, don't, why does every British film, why is it set here? Why is it always here? It's boring. Like, why don't we go to Jamaica? That would be big. That will straight away set it apart. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, actually, why I love working with Nicky, he dreams big. Mm -hmm. Because when he's saying all this Jamaica stuff, I'm not even, I'm thinking, how are we going? We don't have no links. At this point, we have nothing in Jamaica. I'd never even been there before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, straight. yeah. yeah. You know, one of those, I didn't yeah, even yeah. know what Jamaica looked like. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> shoot a film, you know, yeah. Let's go shoot a film there. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm and and so, like, you know, that like, for me, that ability to dream big, like having someone besides me, like, you know, I dream big, but having someone that's dreaming just as big or even bigger Definitely. right next to you. Mm. And, like, and like sometimes he say stuff and I'll be like, oh, nah, like, we shouldn't do that. And he'll be like, no, it'd be sick. We should do this and that. I'm like, by that time he's finished, like, persuading me i'm like you know what yeah yeah, yeah maybe you're right well, that's, that's, let's try it it's such an important thing there's a guy there's a motivational speaker called jin Rohn, and he always says let's do it mm. it's such a powerful word mm. he said no one ever took over the world by themselves saying yeah, you yeah. understand me but when you can say to someone let's do this and that person says yeah let's do it that coming together is always very powerful. Mm, mm. Now, 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 I'm gonna play heaven's advocate here. He, he does I this love a lot. Heaven. <laughs> heaven. 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 In the, com in the community. Art imitates life, mm. life imitates mm. art. Yeah. Mm. And so sometimes I think the concern will be mm. that young people are gonna watch 
movies like The Intent, movies like Bullet Boy, movies like, you know, Hayden Fool, Rolling With Nines, so on and so forth, mm. and then want to emulate. Or So, so you've got a youth that might want to be, I don't know, Superman or Hancock, you mm. know, and run around the garden flying. Mm. Then you've got the youth that might want to be running around with a shooter. And so that's where, do you not feel that, um, as a director, your artistic craft mm. and your art also has a responsibility. I, think, I, I, I completely agree. I think the thing is, as um, as black fit, like for me, when I was growing up, I wanted to be Richard Blackwood or Will Smith because I saw Thank them you, on brother. TV. Mm. Like literally, I that was that. Like, oh, like no, no, no I'll be, I'll be honest, and I, and I say this to Richard <laughs> every time I see him yeah, because no, it's true. like, oh my yeah. gosh, like this guy's like. This guy's a superhero. He's on TV. Because remember, he was on bare programs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Main street. Main street. You remember? See like, on main street. Yeah. I see you on this <laughs> morning, bro. I see you on this morning. You can't get on this morning for the end. <laughs> <laughs> like, but okay. this is thing. You turn on the TV. <laughs> like, the free will make it happen. You turn on the TV and this guy's just everywhere. And he's the only young black man on TV. He's us, though. He's us, us as well. And, not trying and to he be, sounds like, man, that I know. And I'm like, do you know, literally, I just moved as a 10-year-old from Nigeria, so I'm consuming it all. Mm. Like, I remember, like, pirate, I would tune into pirate radio. My ears weren't tuned in to Old School Garage, so I yeah, didn't yeah, like yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Understood. I thought it was nonsense. Yeah. I didn't. Like, when, now I like Old School Garage because yeah. my ears tuned into it. Mm. But, like, the things I could identify with immediately was everything was new to me. Was like, look, there's that young black man and he's on every program. Like, who is he? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I get that, you know, like your influence and like indirectly, like the mm -hmm. reason I'm here today is because of Richards, because mm -hmm. of Will Smith, because of all these people, mm -hmm. because that, that I was taking that in as a young man. And so for me, I, I completely agree. But at the same time, I would, all, I would argue that a kid that's basically going to pick up a gun and do something with it, He's not doing that because he's watched the movie. Facts. A, really, kid, a, really, kid, really a kid that's happening. gonna pick up a gun. Absolutely. Because like, at the same time, I was listen, I was watching Richard Blackwood, but I was listening to DMX. Mm. I was true. like, yeah. I was listening mm. to like proper gangster rap mm. because like as as a that appealed to me at the time. But I was a Christian kid as well. Mm. This is what I'm saying. We're complex. Complex, yeah. 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 We're yeah. complex because I was going to church every Sunday, but I listened to D like proper hardcore rap. Yeah, yeah. I, I wanted to be like Richard Blackwood at the same time, wanted to be like Will Smith. All, all of these influences are coming in, but then I've ended up like going to university, studying law and becoming a filmmaker. So actually, the only, like for me, I would say your parents are really important. Mm -hmm. Parents staring their kids. Yes. Mm -hmm. School, really, school, schools, school, the yeah, education yeah, system yeah. and their contribution to like these kids' lives is really important. For me, I, I find it upsetting when I go to school and there's no black teachers. Mm. Mm -hmm. And maybe it's something in and black, male and black male, male like, teachers. Like, maybe it's something in I, black, I had no black male teachers at my true. school. I was taught by women. Yeah, and that's a great thing. But I'm saying, where, where's a representation of me? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And so like, that's where am I seeing myself? Yeah, school, in the classroom. Schools are important. Yeah. Like more than film. I'm saying like film is important <clears throat> because it contributed to who I am today. Of course. But all these things like schools are important. And then like I remember the first time I, the police came into contact with me. Mm -hmm. I was a kid. I was like 12 or 13. I was like, I had my, um, I'd basically taken my computer to get fixed and I had it in a bag. And my, I, was, I carried it to the shop. This was, I was one of the, like, I had a computer early, like, but you know the, the, the towers, the yeah, big white yeah, towers. Yeah, yeah. So I carried it, took it, was bringing it back, but not knowing the police had been following me okay. the whole time because they'd thought I'd stolen it or whatever. And they've stopped me right outside my block of flats. And it was bare them. Bare these old, older people. Because remember, I'm 13. Like, yeah, bare yeah, these yeah. old people just at me. Like, and I'm yeah. like, but it's mine. And they're like, no, do you have proof? And luckily, I had a receipt. So I showed it to them. And they were like, and they were really rude to me. Yeah, yeah. They didn't want to be wrong. Yeah. And they so there was, there's like undercover police as well as uniform police coming at me as a 13 year old kid. Mm -hmm. And so at, the, at that moment, I realized, you know what, this institution is not for me. Right. Yes, 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 yes. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, people ask, like, remember, I'm a good kid. I'm an A star kid mm -hmm. growing up in the hood. Mm -hmm. And this is not, I'm not like a, I was never a road you, I was never shot in, I was never any of these things. Mm -hmm. And so, like, I'm a really good kid. And so, that's my first contact with the police. So like these institutions, I immediately realised that institution is not for me. Mm -hmm. And so you've got all these institutions that you come in contact with at different times, with and without your parents. 
within mm-hmm. society mm-hmm. that shape you and yeah. influence what you And they're you're not there be. to protect you either. And okay. at the same time, you're then when people then argue that it's just films, I'm like, are you mad? Like you I'm, can't blame music or films. Smart people, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like genuinely, like genuinely, 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 everyone can't be sitting there, intellectual adults, and make an argument that just films and and, and music makes these kids go out. No, there. no, social no, no. economic circumstances. Definitely. definitely. Now what? I've, and then if you say like, you know what? In within that cocktail, oh, do you feel your films are responsible? And you do you feel you need to do positive re- representation? And I completely agree. Like you know me. Everyone that knows me knows that I'm in the community hard. Like yeah. I'm at the schools. I'm at the youth clubs. I'm in the prisons. I'm ever. I'm in the community. And- Hard and as filmmakers, we should be able to be free to make all genres. Mm. Like a white filmmaker doesn't get this when he makes a film. Like if you, if if a white filmmaker wants to make a story about the craze, yeah, I agree. He's free to do that. With that, I definitely and at, agree. And, and, and at the same time, I feel like ask this question to yourself: If you took away music and film away from the world, what would the world be like? Mm. It connects us to so many different people. Mm. And also what yeah. it does, what music and film, I was talking to someone and they were like, you know what, music, I said I'm a filmmaker. She was like, oh, that's so important. And I was like, okay, cool, we're safe. I'm not a doctor <laughs> or nothing. She's like, no, it's so important. Mu- like film and literature are the most important things in the world mm. because they help you empathise and, and you know, see yeah. the world and you know, and from that other perspective. And a lot of things what people said, Great. a lot of things that people said to us or well, said to me in LA, well, I didn't know London, like UK has, ha, they, they don't even know that exists. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying if you see in, the intent is real, mm. like man are not on the street with machine gun. That's action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you know, yeah, yeah, we've gone yeah. to yeah. Jamaica, big machine guns. Yeah. We try to <laughs> take it up to like an action packed film, you know, mm-hmm. like we're, we're not trying to make the kids go out and 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 do I'm, that. What yeah. we're trying to make the kids see is that you know what, Krypton Conan's in this movie, <laughs> and they c- I can be a movie star. Well, you, oh, you see, Krypton okay. Conan own restaurants. I can own a you restaurant. You took the words out of my mouth. Like Fecky's in this. He was from where I was, you know. Mm-hmm. But now he's a musician with a record label, and he has he, he's doing amazing. You imagine? Things. I grew up on an estate. Yeah, before I met Noel Clark, I'd never met anyone that worked in TV that had been on TV. I saw a post the other day, and it said. Stay in your lane. No, it said, I'll stay in my lane. All 44 of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you, you know, you know. And that's the thing. See the Americans, they're the best. Like, I met, we met a girl in LA. I was like, what do you do? She's like, I'm a DJ, I'm a model, yes, I'm a promoter, I, I, I'm an actor. I'm like, whoa! <laughs> which like, one? Which one? I said to her, so, so you're a curator. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, that's a better description. <laughs> and hair, that's, that's looked upon like, as a negative thing. Always mm-hmm. has like, been. Like, jack of all trades, a master, master of none, none, they say, innit? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. understand? And yeah. it makes you feel like, but I'm not blown in one thing, but listen, you don't know if you're going to blow in that yeah. thing, Well, you think know? about it. Will Smith really became, uh, uh, like, people forget that Will Smith was a rapper, mm-hmm. was the first to win a Grammy, him and, 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 and Jazzy Jeff, Jazzy Jeff, right? Do you know what I mean? For, he's, G, he's a DJ, I'm a rapper, right? But because it wasn't televised, they said they weren't going to televise it, so they said that they, they didn't want to receive it. But even still, Will Smith is iconically no more for being a Hollywood actor than he is a prolific rapper yeah. and the first to win a Grammy, yeah. right? Do you know what I mean? So your road is your road. But um, we're going to wrap up on this, but I just want to say the Intent 2 is out now. Out now. And, and out now, we, now, we, now. And um, I guess what's, what's next for... For the di- what you guys must call yourself something besides you know your individual <laughs> name. <laughs> really? Really? Like the you know shoes what? brothers. <laughs> 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 we're, gonna, you know what? we're gonna come up with a name, you know. You've got like to. we've gotta come up with a name because obviously it's just it's we have to. We're thinking of other things, like we was even speaking about something this morning that I think is gonna change the game again. But we've got loads of movies coming, man. We've got a film called Napa. Okay. That we're gonna do based on Iron Apple in 2003. Big wow. boys going on big, holiday, their big, first yeah, holiday, big. you know. So solid times. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so yeah, yeah, we're, yeah, we're, yeah. we're gonna do that. Um, we're gonna do an adventure film. I'm okay. um, a kids, a black adventure film like The Goonies. Okay. But based here, you know, that okay. sort of thing, a fun thing for our kids. I've got a daughter, he's got sons. Mm-hmm. We need a film that they can watch and enjoy. Mm-hmm. There's romantic comedies, there's loads, man. Like, this is what I'm saying, don't box us in like the intent, the intent. We're gonna do the intent free. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Love it. Rick No, no. I don't know what yeah, you're yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, I have a full Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't, don't box us in for the intent, the intent. We're doing the intent yeah, free. Yeah, yeah. We're yeah. We're gonna, we have to. Well, because you know what? The like, intent doesn't actually have a sequel yet. That's yeah, the joke. Right. Yeah, it's, it's a prequel. It's a prequel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The intent story didn't finish yeah. with the intent. If you so, want to be on this morning, all right. So this is the thing. This is the thing. This is the thing. And I'm gonna we're closing on this. Okay. I don't know what happens when we flow, when we flow, when we flow. But you guys are using UK actors. You guys are using UK um, artists and all the rest of it. Now, for me, 
Mm. Personally, mm. right now we've got some big UK actors, talent wise, that mm. are doing international Hollywood yeah. stuff. Mm. Amel Amin, Damson Idris, John Boyega, and yeah. Daniel, Daniel Kaluuya. Kaluuya. Yeah, of course. I want to see them in a film. I'd love that. Together. We, we had this with a debate mate, with a male in a barber <laughs> shop in, in LA. LA about this. The same thing. We had so, no, exact mm, names that you just said. Mm. We had a big debate mm. in LA with a male uh -huh. saying that needs to happen. happen. What? Because what I'm saying is... But it's like trying to book all these people and yeah, trying to do the Yeah, once they get to that deals. level, you know, it's hard. The thing like, is, the like, thing it, it, becomes, it comes out of their hands. Uh, yeah, and like, yeah. This, when it, once you elevate to a certain level, like a male might want to do it, but then... Damson might not be free. Daniel Kaluuya might like not like the script. This like, do you know what it My is? My thing is, are, have the actors who have blown up into Hollywood mm -hmm. have they got the same mindset as the music man? The music man name. The music man to, name to is together. together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Together yes. is the key. Because you it's know, definitely like, is the key. And, that, and but not only that, when you're in a massive movie that's worldwide and you're making millions of dollars or whatever you're making, do you do you still have the same mindset? Of mm. togetherness, or are you just call cool what you're doing. Because for me, I would, I'd, I would put literally, I'll put. Obviously, Amel was like the older guy. Amel was like started this going to Hollywood thing, and, yeah, I, yeah, I, and I've got so much. Being in Hollywood with him, I've got so much newfound respect for him because like what he did was so brave. Massive, mm -hmm. massive. Yeah, he, was he did. So brave. He he was big like shout 20, to Amel. He was 22, 23, and he went to America after the bill by himself. Yeah. <laughs> That like we yeah. like that's mad. Like you yeah. know, and he is so brave to make a way for himself and to make a life for himself in that place and be successful. So for me, like you know, you've got a Mel, you've got Damson, you've got Daniel, you've got all these people that all know each other that we we know. And for them, it's just like actually, they've got to a level. Does it make sense for them? Yeah, one hundred percent. As individuals, and they've got to that level. Actually, the collaboration thing works for us because our old thing is based on it's not the thing is the reason everyone's excited about the intent it's not because of me and Nikki it's the culture it's about the culture mm -hmm. we are bringing the culture on screen mm -hmm. so like people can immediately identify the only time that I'm going to see like Getz and Krepton Conan and Fecky and all these people together is that like, someone that knows the culture would have had to put this together mm -hmm. and on top of that it's actually like it's a community on screen yeah, mm -hmm. that's why it works, and I, everyone's passionate behind I the screen. That's, I think, but you see, the problem that I've got with the UK, the, the non-collaboration, is all right. We all wanted to see Jason versus Freddie, mm. yeah, as in Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday the Thirteenth. When they finally got round to doing it, it too late. It was too late. It was dead. No one really cared about it. And a lot it. of people only do it when they're on the come down. Well, well, okay, well, you see, now he's hit the nail on the head. And because, this is what I'm saying. No, but, no, but he's making a very valid point. Which is that all the, no, but all the names that you've mentioned. Right, I think he's right. I mean, we can go on for, for, forever and ever on this. Mm -hmm. But the truth of the matter is, is that with actors, remember, actors are individuals. The rap music game is there is a togetherness because they re they, they they realize it's for the culture of rap. Acting is not necessarily the same. I think we need to have, and I keep turning to the Americans, but you got to be like Diddy in that. So see, like yeah. Diddy, Diddy will be at the top of his game, but he'll pull in the the youngest rapper. Absolutely. Jay Z will be at the top of his what, game. Drake does that every week. J Drake, <laughs> he, he does. You know, he does, he does that know. every. Drake came over here and went, okay, no one's tapping into these guys at an international level, so let me show he them. Does, no, but he doesn't just do that here. Like the other day, I was like, I was like, who's little baby? And then someone was talking about a rapper called Little Baby. I'm like, who's that? Like, who's this little baby yeah. person? Mm. Drake's got a tune with Little Baby. Little Baby only came out yesterday. Like, smart. Like, smart. And the thing smart. is, is that you, it's like, smart. You know, if we was in. America and me and Femi made the intent. Do you think Jay Z and Puffy would not be about and not? Do you think they would allow this to happen? <laughs> you yeah, don't allow it. They'll, they'll be like, "Who's these guys, man?" Like, yeah, yeah, sure. Jay Z that, like, took Money and Violence, which was a YouTube show, yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. gave them a title platform. Like, yeah, you know, like, you know. I remember. And we're here, and like, it. we only have people like you guys and other people helping to push us forward and push the culture. One thing about this show is that we will ask the questions or put the things out there that people won't ask or they won't say, right? Yeah. And I think that the, this platform, you know, there will be other platforms that will try and come afterwards and good for you, yeah. right? <laughs> but, <laughs> good for you, right? But we, we, we would definitely be the first to push 
in terms of we're trying to get the, the, the generation to the next level. level. So even now, Idris, your name's been called, man. You've got to make it happen. You're right. You know what I mean? You've got to make it happen. We want to see it, man. We want to see it. With like, those big moves, you need a figurehead. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And like, all of these boys, everyone respects Idris. Yeah. 100%. And everyone, Idris, Idris is like our Will Smith. Like, Idris, Idris is like, I'm drinking his coffee. Like, all right, guys. No, no, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, stop, yeah, stop, yeah, stop, 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 commerciality or making loads of money all around the world. Some of the moves has to be for the culture. Mm. Like, like not, to, not to be yeah. cheesy, like, you know, no, like, but it's real. But like, it's like real. the moves, it's real. actually, you have to do cultural moves. And like, for me, like, you look at someone like Giggs, like, where he is now, he's like mm. one of the leaders in Without that doubt. field. But he will still collaborate with like up and coming. Always. Up. And Always. that's how we need Always. to look I've at it. Always. I've noticed that. Like, oh in, 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 in acting and film and, like for me, I'm for new talent. Every time we do a new film, we've got new talent. Like there's there's a girl that plays gets his character in the Intent too. Mm -hmm. That's someone that Nikki met at an award ceremony that said I'm an actress. Blah blah blah. Came in audition. Like had me crying in the audition because I read with the actors. Mm -hmm. I mean, crying. I was like, you know, you have to be in the film. Mm -hmm. And so like you know, we're always trying to break new talent in everything that we do. Listen, and, we and got and wrap up. We're gonna wrap be up. here all day. We're gonna be here all day. No, but you know what I like. You know what I like. This is the platform for it. You yeah. see. People can let go. It's true, it's true. Where can these guys hit you up um, in terms of Instagram and so forth? Um, we've got Nikki Slim Ting, one word, um, N I C K Y S L I M T I N G, and the intent Instagram. Is it the intent film? Just the intent? No, the intent too. Intent too. Instagram, the intent yeah. movie. And I do read my DMs and get back to people as well. Yeah. You know, yeah. I do. It might take me a month, but. I go through them. Man's busy, time. give him time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fem? But yeah, I'm on Femi Oyaniran, which is F E M I O Y E N I R A N. And um, that's Show them to oh, yeah, what the little. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't need to learn how to say it. Yeah. <laughs> so that, uh, but yeah, how to say my surname is Oye Ni Run. Ah, mm, yeah. yeah, I like that, I like, I like that, because I, like I was it, stuck. I, like I, made, <laughs> I made that up for white people. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Um, really but, um, but yeah, so um, that's that's me and then the Intent 2 on Instagram and the Intent Movie on Twitter. And I think it's the Intent Movie on Facebook for those that still use that. Yeah. Nikki and Femi. On that note. <laughs> Pleasure. Pleasure to have you guys Pull out the ruby, brother. Pull out the ruby. Come on, pull out the ruby. Come on, pull out the ruby. There it is. This is light. This is light. Ladies and gentlemen, for the culture. Peace. JBN Comics presents Hair Room. When an asteroid falls from outer space to Earth, a runaway slave finds the asteroid and is endowed with superhuman powers. He sets about on a mission to free his people and change the world. Unknown to him, the very asteroid that gave him his powers carries a dark secret that could destroy the world. Heru, the first hero.